What's up, fashionistas? It's Lenny CV, aka Nikki, and I'm back with another video. And you're probably wondering, like, whoa, sis, like, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Well, this is day three of the vegan challenge, but, and I re previously recorded an intro for the video, but it got messed up and it got deleted. So, I had to do another one. So, this is day three. It's Wednesday. The first few clips, they don't have any sound or anything in them because I'll just do in their voiceovers because my sound was already messed up at the start of this. So that's another reason why the first intro had to go. Plus, it was just all over the place and I want this video to be a little bit more organized even though it's already all over the place. But Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be a very much organized more day. So yeah, keep watching. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end... Stay tuned for a surprise. Okay, so in this clip, I'm just having rice made with coconut milk and a little bit of vegetables on the side. I had salmon, but I took that out for the sake of this video. And yeah, this is just day one of the vegan challenge. Okay, so after that, I just had some regular organic apples from Trader Joe's and then some honey peanut butter. And I know honey is not very much vegan, but in this case it is. Okay, y'all, so these are the vegan turkey cutlets from Gardein, I believe. And um, I burnt them just a little bit because I wanted that extra crispy flavor, but I got them a little bit so crispy, you know what she? But uh, yeah, they were just about like an 8 out of 10. I probably would um, use like a use as like a chicken parmesan next time or try it with the gravy. Um, next time I will try it with the gravy and give y'all a review on that, but overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, fashionistas, it is day three of this challenge. It is Wednesday the 23rd, I believe. Uh, yes, and it's 1 o'clock um, p.m. And I'm just not about to eat. I had to do something before, but now we're back on track. Okay, so since it's 1 o'clock and the snack was a fail, um, I'm probably going to look and see if i can find something else i went to the store i think i got this at kroger no i got this at sprouts and it's the so delicious dairy free ice cream um it's made with coconut milk uh, i'm not really a fan of coconut but my mom said you're probably not gonna taste the coconut anyways but i want to show some of the things that i got and probably what i'm gonna heat up right now so i got some plant-based vegan popcorn chicken, which I was really excited about because I couldn't find it at Target. They were all sold out. So we went to Publix uh, or Kroger. No, it was actually Kroger and they had them, which I thought was crazy because I went to Target thinking, oh, they're gonna have it, not the other place. Um, the next thing I got, oh, that's wrong. The majority of the stuff is my mom. Oh, I got the cheeseburger. I might eat this instead for lunch because, but it takes really long. It takes like 10, 15 minutes to do. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but this is a really good thing. These are really good. I've had these before and it's vegan meat and vegan cheese all together. So I won't have to add any um, other cheese. And then I found these fishless fillets. I love fish. Uh, I think it comes with the tartar sauce. No, which percent sure. I believe it does come with the tartar sauce, but if not, I don't care because it's not a big deal or whatever. But that's just some of the few things. And then this is the Beyond Burger that I want to try the cheese though because I've had the Impossible Burger from um what is that place called? Burger King is really good, but you need cheese or something. And I have this Gardein Italian sausage and pizza bowl pasta. Oh, I can't read, but this is what that looks like. Yes, and this has some good reviews on that, so hopefully that's good. Um, let me see. I got a lot of things in here. I also got this, which sweet and tangy barbecue. This is what I'm about to eat. So we're about to just stop this grocery haul and go make some barbecue wings because. Your girl is hungry. Sorry for my lace, but your girl is hungry. It's one o'clock. Got to eat. Like, sweetie. The other day, my previous video, I did the um 
chicken cutlets and those are really good um the chicken cutlets were really really good um don't mind my nails y'all they broke off but yeah i'm gonna try these barbecue wings it was crazy the other day i was craving wings and i looked up and i was like i can't eat actual chicken you know so i looked up vegan barbecue chicken wings i mean you know vegan wings and a whole bunch of things popped up so i was like okay might as well just this is what this is what really inspired me to do the whole vegan challenge too so yeah i'll be back after i cook these okay, so i picked up the ice cream the vegan ice cream it is um so delicious dairy dairy free vanilla bean um coconut milk non-dairy frozen dessert is no sugar added and it's made with organic coconut and i took a little swoopy swoop of it it tastes exactly like coconut i'm not a big fan of coconut but it's not that bad if you like coconut and you vegan you'll like it. all right y'all it's day four and it's 2 45 almost three o'clock first meal of the day don't worry it's okay because i never have fun i only have dinner this one i'm gonna eat it's popcorn chicken nuggets i got these at kroger and i got the oven oil right now and everything and i'm gonna eat it with some ranch i guess that's what that is some ranch or some tartar sauce or whatever but yeah i'm gonna try these and give y'all a review when they done because i haven't even put them in the oven yet so yeah when they done cooking everything i'm gonna let y'all know how it go okay so this is me trying the popcorn chicken nuggets um they look somebody told me i put this on my snapchat y'all and somebody told me it looked like weed and it kind of does i don't really like that it was very crunchy as you can see i'm giving it a thumbs up i tried it with the um ketchup which i find out later it's not it's vegan but it's not vegan the mayonnaise wasn't vegan i mean i'm sorry the ranch was vegan but the, the ketchup was but yes the um I recommend eating it with the ketchup and not the ranch, the ranch unless you like a tangy taste. I wasn't into that. So I like it with the ketchup with the by itself. Um, I give it like a nine out of ten with the ketchup, ten out of ten with the ranch, eight out of ten. The ranch just really didn't do it for me, but it was overall pretty good. Okay guys, today is the last and final day, day five of this vegan challenge. Um as I can tell, I didn't eat dinner yesterday, but I will be eating dinner today because it's like it's day five. So it's like, might as well go with a bang because you know I'm shame, I'm shame. Okay, y'all. So I didn't record what I ate for dinner. I actually ate dinner, I know, and I didn't even record it. But I had the um, vegan cheeseburger from Morningstar. I think that um, that and the popcorn chicken nuggets were the only thing I had that was from Morningstar out of this whole entire video. But yes, the cheeseburger, of course, 10 out of 10. I would definitely buy it again. Um, only had one. I should have ate both of them but because they, they were that good. But yes, I'm going to close the video here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with everybody you know. Um, let me know if I should do a part two. And yeah, don't forget to share with your mommy, your daddy, granddaddy, your sister, your brother, your grand, all that. Peace.